Hey, it's Jimmy, and right now I wanna show you another top feature that you should be trying out today in Pictory. Let's have a look at our smart video editor. So recently we released an update where we rebuilt the entire editing experience. And I wanna show you a couple of the cool features that you can take advantage of with that. So in this scene, I've got this visual, I really wanna move where the face is located in the frame, but because it's filling the frame, like it, it's kind of difficult to do. So here's how we're gonna accomplish this. I'm gonna convert this to a layer. Cool, and I updated the background color. I'm gonna start moving this around and you'll see if I grab these edge handles, I can reframe the entire visual. So I'll crop the bottom out and I'll crop the right edge in. So now you can see I've completely reframed that visual. So it's no longer 16 by nine. It fits into any rectangle that I want. And if I double click on it, now I can kind of slide this around in the available area that I just created. So cropping is really powerful. Another thing you can do with the Smart Editor is align things really easily. So if I start dragging these independent text elements, you'll see that these different guides start to appear. And if I want this to be aligned with the other text, I can drag it here. I can also align it with the center of the screen. And even on this other one, I can get this into horizontal alignment with the other text, just like that. So this makes it easy to align different elements with different text. So you can see this is aligned with the top element, this is aligned with the lower one, and this is aligned with the center of the frame. You can create these cool uh, layouts with it. You can also go into your layers and reorder where everything is. So for example, I kind of want this visual to be on the top. And now I can use that cropping option to drag this down and really just make this totally new looking composition. And I can do cool things like that with all of these. Like I can just kind of scale this down until it fits right where I need it to be. And then I can use the snapping guides to drag this so that it snaps perfectly with the visual below it. 